Alright, so this is Eskwit coming at you here from Shigeg. I'm playing Revengers here, the Raging Form Dragon. And then I believe I'm versing a Tempest Bolt Dragon deck build. So I get uh, I get my opening hand, I decide to keep uh, Revenger tr uh, Trumpeter. I get my Grade 3 Break Ride, and then uh, Blast the Dark, I draw another break, Grade 3 Break Ride. So I get to go first, right, right into Trumpeter. He rides into his uh, 10k booster. I decide to 10k guard it because I don't have any boosters in my hand, so I'll decide to keep my uh, grade 3 searcher. And so that uh, so I'm not gonna use his effects. I decided to try not take damage, and it was a good idea because I ended up drawing Raging from Dragon. So I attack, you know, guards. I got a crit, so he gets to take 2 damage. So at this point, I know that I don't want him to go for uh, Lin Chu's effect and kill my starter. So I'll probably decide to guard his Vanguard attack, for probably for one. So that way I can use the starter and go for another Raging from Dragon and get ready. And then I can just call the Grade 3 attacker. So I'll let him hit with his uh, Spark Rain to see if I can get a trigger. I don't to check Masquerade. He attacks, I guard for 10, so he has to get a trigger to hit. He doesn't hit a trigger, so he can't kill my starter. And then I ride into the break ride, I use the starter skill. Then I believe I do end up adding another Raging Form to my hand. Yep, I do. So now I'm all set for Break Ride, so I decide to call the other one. He no guards to that one. So I check another Blast the Dark Revenger. So that's good, so I know I have an attacker for next turn. Another one. Then I check the damage on Flipper when he called Blast of Dark in the same column. So I'm pretty much set to use Blast of Dark's effect next turn. So I'll probably take one damage, and then I'll probably guard uh, one of the attacks. I probably won't guard the Vanguard, so I know that he can't use Lynch's effect. So he checks a crit, so I he puts a power on the Vanguard, so I end up attacking Spark Rain. A 10k guard to spark ring. So I'll guard spark ring's uh, attack so I can take the vanguard. He checks a heal so he does heal. But that comes to play later in the game. So now, that, since I take taking the damage, if he does check a trigger, I can probably get a heal if I take it on my third damage. He gets a crit and forces me to three. He doesn't get a crit, he gets another uh, demolition dragon. So I, te uh, I check a break ride. It's not too bad. It's a little, it's okay. So I don't have so many uh, great threes in my hand. Since I already have raging form in my hand, so that's fine. I have all the copies I need in my hand, and then it's my turn. I draw and ride. I call. I get a 10k attacker. So call the damage on the first and blast the dark, so I can kill his spark ring. Then I. I believe it is, yep, I call the 10k attacker, I attack with the vanguard, he no guards. I get a heal, so I heal one damage and I put the power on Blaster Dark. So, pretty much he heals, which allowed me to heal.
And I check another blast to dodge, so if he does end up killing my other blast, I can call another one to the rear guard. And probably use his effect again, kill whatever he has. And then he just attack a trigger, so he will have to give me a 10k for the. Uh, I think Mordred's column, I think he's called. And then my. For Blast of Dark, he'll have to give me a 15k if I decide to attack with that first. So I attack with Mordred first, he gives me a 10k guards. Uh, I decide to put him in Lemma Break, so I'm only on one damage, and I have two 10k guards in hand, so even if he calls anything. So he doesn't attack a trigger, he checks a new card from BT14, which isn't bad, but I think it's a pretty good card. I might put it in my, one of my decks when it comes out. It's when you're, if you don't know its effect, is counter blast one when you ride a, when you're grade three vanguard, uh, grade three is put on your vanguard circle, counter blast one retire when your opponent's, uh, your opponent chooses one of his opponent, uh, regards to retire. Jeez. Alright, so he break rides, I retire more to its calm because that way I can, because it's just grade three and 10k, it's not bad, so I guard his demolition dragon. So I let this one through because I don't think he's gonna. I didn't think he would use a Lynch's effect this time because he needed a booster and he's clearly lacking attackers because he's playing a 10k attacker in the front row. So he did the smart move of not using his effect. He did check in, uh, another one of the new retires when a uh, grade three is put in the Vanguard circle. You can uh, soul charge him and kill a front row unit. Then he checks another demolition dragon. So I take my damage and I check another Masquerade. So I draw another damage on Flipper, so I call it damage on Flipper and call it Blast of Dark, and so I can flip and then kill his Demolition Dragon. So at this point, I attack with the Vanguard only, so. He does guard for two, I check a Tardu. And then for my second check, I check another Mordred. It's not bad, but I just have way too many great threes in hand, so I'm just hoping he doesn't get any more attackers. So I don't have any perfect guards right now, so I probably will have to intercept like with one of my blasts or darks or something. Then I attack with my right column. He decides to no guard it. Gets another one of the new set 14 cards. Then I attack with another calm. He's 10k guards, and so he's already at 5 damage. Then I know that he. And I'm already, and I can just let him tag me with the vanguard, so he does break right again. So I do kill both of my blaster darks because I have attackers in my hand. So when I break right, I can just call booster. I decided to no guard it. He gets a crit. So he's probably going to put the power there, so uh, i just hoping that I get at least a trigger, and hopefully he doesn't get another trigger, so that I can just give him a 10k guard at all, I will take it. Doesn't really do too much, because I can just still unflip again. And then he doesn't, he checks another Demolition Dragon. So at this point I'm just hoping maybe get a draw trigger, so that way I can... Uh, draw up a par there and hopefully draw another guard there so that way I can still keep my hand and maybe keep a booster 
so that way I can camp west corner of the bus of dark. So that way I can just have a full feel and have it put power on the attacker with the brake red. So I do hit a draw trigger. So I put the power on the Vanguard, then I draw. Then I draw another draw trigger, then I check another draw trigger. <laughs> so I'm pretty like, yep, just a 5k guard, so I can just guard with the draw trigger I just ch uh, drew. Then I end up drawing a, let's see, I think I drew a Blast of Dark Revenger. So that way I can do the damage and flip again when I break ride and kill his demolition dragon. And I can just call the grade 3 to, uh, card in my hand since... Oh, nope, I drew a Tardot that I drew a Blast of Dark Never mind. So I do guard for 5. So I draw, stand draw, and here I draw the Blaster Dark, so I decide to break ride, and I decide to call the grade 1 attacker, uh, grade 1 10k attacker, and pot give him power, and then I call Blaster Dark and flip one, and I use this counter blast to kill Demolition Dragon. I know he has one in his hand, but it'd be better to kill that so he doesn't have two, and I can only mostly focus on his value, because I know he has five cards in his hand, and I'm all ready to use uh, Revenger, Raging Form Revenger, Revenger Raging from Dragon's Effect. He's a tongue twister just saying his name. <laughs> so I called uh, Mordred's Break Red. I attack with his comp first. He does give me 10k. Then I attack with the Vanguard. So the Vanguard attack for 33,000. So uh, if he doesn't have a perfect guard, and he does. So perfect guards it. I'm just hoping to get like a draw or a crit. By this point, I know that I'm out of draw, so I'm just hoping for a crit or some good attackers, and or pretty much just hoping for a crit. So I check a heal. The heal doesn't go off because my opponent's at five and I'm only at four. So I have less damage, but I do put the power on Blaster Dark, so that's a 15k guard column. Now I'm going to Bright Cry so I can sack the other three units at rest, and I can keep powering up that column, so that way I can kill him, yeah, beat him. So then I Limit Break. So I attack with the my Vanguard again, he perfect guards. So I check a crit. Put it all on Blaster Dark. So now he is a 26k column with a 2 crit. So now I can just hope for either a perfect guard or another crit there. So in case he does get double heal, which is really highly unlikely. Then I go GG because I know he's not gonna be able to go. So I do check perfect guard. So probably like pretty much here, just gonna type GG since it's pretty much a game. An attack, he hits, doesn't hit a heal. So, yeah. So, this is Zitsoy signing out for Shigig. So, remember to subscribe, like, and comment.